Hello. Morning. We'll start our Sunday celebration with a prayer. Dear Lord, thank you. Thank you that we're here. We have another day here and well. May your Holy Spirit come down to us. May we speak and move on you. May we worship your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today is a word, day of worship. Let's sing a song. Let's sing these songs for God. He's coming on the clouds. Kings and kingdoms will bow down, and every chain will break. As broken hearts declare His praise Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Our God is a lion, the lion of Judah He's roaring with power, He's fighting our battles And every knee will bow before You Our God is a lamb, the lamb that was slain chains and every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb oh every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb oh, 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 oh. so open up the gates make way before the king of God who calls the same is here to set the captives free. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Our God is a lion, the lion of Judah is roaring with power and fighting our battles. And every knee will bow before you. Our God is a lamb. chains and every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb oh every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb. Oh, 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 oh. who can stop the lord almighty who can stop the lord will bow, bow before you, Lord God. Because you are our God. 
You are Alpha, Omega, beginning and end, Lord God. You will fight for us. You are with us. happens in life you love us Lord you are there to save us you have saved us Lord God from ourselves from our sins Lord God from death we worship you Lord through our voices, through our lives, Lord God. We know whatever we do, it's not enough, Lord God, for the things that you have done. But you love us anyway. Thank you, Lord, because when we are hurt, you are our strength. When we're down, you lift us up. When we're weak, you are still our strength, Lord God. When we are in tears, given us the strength that we need, the love, the joy. And you are more than enough. Even death cannot set us apart from you, Lord. That's why we thank you, Lord, for the peace. For the peace that we have because we have you, Lord. So I pray na lahat ng nakikinig ngayon, Lord God, will have you in their hearts. Will accept you in their hearts, Lord God. So that they may, we may all live, Lord God, for you, for you alone, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving us a love like this, Lord God.
to find me cannot earn what you give, Lord God. We don't deserve the love that you've given us, Lord. But you loved us. You first loved us, Lord God. We cannot do anything, Lord, to earn whatever love you're giving us, Lord. But still you loved us every single day, Lord. That's why we thank you for everything, Lord. May all the words that come out our mouths the thoughts in our minds all the things that we'll do 
before you, Lord God. Lord, sana mapapurihan namin kayo sa lahat ginagawa namin, Lord. Alam namin nagagalaw kayo, Lord. May plano kayo para sa amin, Lord. Thank you for loving us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Huli ko po kayong binabati sa ngalan ng Church of the Hill Christian Community. So, bine-welcome ko po kayo dito sa ating online worship celebration. So, napakaganda ng umaga. So, purihin natin ang Panginoon, sambahin natin siya sa Espiritu at sa Katotohanan. So, manalangin na po tayo. Aming Ama na nasa langit sa pangalan ng inyong anak na si Jesus. Kami po ay nagpupuri, nagpapasalamat sa inyong kadakilaan sa aming mga buhay. Dalangin ko po, Panginoon, ay patuloy kang kumilo sa aming mga buhay, sa aming mga pamilya. Buksan mo po ang aming puso, buksan mo po ang aming isipan, buksan mo po ang aming mga tahanan upang ikaw ay aming papasukin at ikaw ay aming tanggapin sa aming mga buhay, sa aming mga tahanan upang maghari ka o Diyos. Kaya nga, maghari ka, Panginoon, at ang iyong kalooban ng masya, maganap, at uh, hinihiling ko po, Panginoon, ang iyong Espiritu Santo ay malayang kumilo sa aming mga buhay. Kaya nga, pagpalain mo po ang bawat isa sa amin sa araw na ito, maluwalhati ka, ito pong amin na langin sa pangalan ng ating Panginoong Yesus. Lahat tayo magsabi ng Amen. Ngayon pong umaga, I know, ah, uh, Uh, marami po sa atin ay patuloy na nangangamba dahil sa lumalala at uh, tumatagal itong pandemic natin ang dalangin ko sa Panginoon pat, patuloy po tayong uh, ingatan ng Panginoon at uh, ilayo ng Panginoon sa anumang kapahamakan so nanganganib po ba ang inyong mga buhay alam ko marami pong banta sa buhay ng bawat isa sa atin hindi lang po itong covid at uh, itong karamdaman na ito ay patuloy nating uh, kinakaharap, patuloy nating uh, patuloy nating uh, nilalabanan itong COVID-19. So patuloy po tayong ingatan ng Panginoon at patuloy po tayong gabayan ng kanyang banal na presensya. Yung banal na dugo ng Panginoon ay patuloy na bumalot sa buhay ng bawat isa sa atin. Kaya nga, so magang ito, yung pong ating pag-uusapan ay may pamagat na deliverance in the den of dangers. Okay? Alam ko, bawat isa sa atin ay nalalagay sa panganib. Okay? Maraming banta sa ating mga buhay na kinakailangan magkaroon tayo ng deliverance. Kaya yun po yung paksa na pag-uusapan natin. Deliverance in the den of dangers. Okay? In the den of dangers. Okay? So pag-uusapan po natin sa umagang ito ay mula sa Book of Daniel chapter 6 at yun po yung pagbubulay-bulayan natin sa umaga ito. Pag-aaralan natin yung naging buhay ni Daniel at kung paano siya iniligtas ng Panginoon sa mga kapahamakan. And uh, we could we could relate to Daniel kung paano siya diniliver ng Panginoon sa mga banta sa kanyang buhay. So ang pangani po ay maraming pinanggagalingan. So, hindi lang po yung sakit. Sometimes, yung pong mga panganib ay gawa ng ibang tao. Gawa ng mga taong masasama from the wicked people. So, we are surrounded kuminsan ng mga taong iba ang takbo ng kanilang pag-iisip. Hindi natin kayang kontrolin ang kanilang mga pag-iisip. Pero yung dapat na maging response natin, yon ang pinakamahalaga sa lahat. Kaya nga, mga kapatid, sa umagang ito, aalamin natin niyong naging banta sa buhay ni Daniel at kung paano siya iniligtas ng ating Panginoon. So, samahan po ninyo ako sa pagbubulay-bulay ng kanyang salita. 
dito sa Daniel chapter 6. By the way, makikita po natin dito sa Daniel chapter 6, si Daniel po ay patuloy na binibigyan ng Panginoon ng ng kakayahan, no? Daniel was distinguished himself for he has a great ability. Uh, pinagpala siya ng Panginoon sa maraming bagay dahil isa po siyang gifted individual, ano? Uh, he has the great ability. Actually, sabi nga ng Banala Kasulatan, he has extraordinary spirit. Can you imagine yung descriptive word na ginamit dito sa buhay ni Daniel that he has an extraordinary ability or extraordinary spirit. So, alam ko, bawat isa sa atin, kung tayo po ay pinagpala ng Panginoon, binigyan ng Panginoon ng mga natatanging kaloob, maring tayo ay masaya dahil sa binigay ng Panginoon sa buhay natin. Pero hindi lahat ng tao ay masaya doon sa nagiging performance mo. Hindi, hindi lahat ay masaya doon sa promotion mo. So may mga tao na sabihin natin na, na hindi masaya sa iyong tagumpay. So sa kalagayan po ni Daniel, ganito po yung nangyari. No? Nagkaroon ng banta sa buhay ni Daniel dahil may mga tao na hindi naging masaya sa kanyang promotion. Okay? So basahin po natin yung verse 1 to 3 mula dito sa Banala Kasulatan sa Daniel chapter 6. Now sabi rito, Darius the Mede decided to divide the kingdom into 120 provinces and he appointed a high officer to rule over each province. The king also chose Daniel and the two others as administrators to supervise the high officers and protect the king's interests. Daniel soon proved himself more capable than all the other administrators and high officers because of Daniel's great ability. Have you noticed that? Because of Daniel's great ability. And the king made plans to place him over the entire empire. So during this time, si King Darius, ang hari na po ng Med Medo-Persia. Okay? Now so from Babylonian Empire to Persian Empire, si Daniel po ay patuloy na uh, binibigyan ng Panginoon ng pagkakataon into high position because of his great ability. So Mula kay King Nebuchadnezzar, ngayon naman ay si King Darius of Persia. Binigyan ng pagkakataon si Daniel dahil nga po because of his great ability or extraordinary spirit. He was uh, uh, promoted by King Darius. Subalit, verse 4, ito na po yung naging uh, problema. Sabi sa verse 4, then... The other administrators and high officers began searching for some fault in the way Daniel was handling government affairs. So, when you are in a position of leadership, merong mga tao talaga hahanapan ka ng butas, hahanapan ka ng pagkakamali mo. So, ang binabantayan itong mga, <clears throat> mga administrators and high officers in the government ay kung papaano ka magkakamali. No? Alam nyo, hindi po madali na ikaw ay uh, nasa isang mataas na posisyon. Maraming mga tao ay hindi nila inaantay yung, o hindi nila hinahanap yung mga mabubuti mong mga ginagawa. Ang hinahanap nila ay yung kanila, uh, ang hinahanap nila ay yung, yung pagkakamali. At ganito po yung nangyari. So, sabi dito sa verse 4, Dahil they are searching for some fault in the way Daniels was handling the, the government affairs, sabi rito, but they could not find anything to criticize or condemn him. Subalit wala silang makitang uh, dungis, wala silang makitang pagkakamali sa buhay na <clears throat> sa leadership na ginagawa ni Daniel. Because 
Sabi rito, He was faithful, always responsible, and completely trustworthy. So, binanggit dito, tatlong uh, paglalarawan sa buhay at pamumuno ni Daniel. Sabi rito, He was faithful, He was responsible, and He was trustworthy. In one word, mga kapatid, makikita natin dito si Daniel, yung kanyang integrity. Okay? Yung kanyang integrity. So, He maintained his integrity amidst of intrigues. Okay. He maintained his integrity amidst of intrigues. <coughs> so, maintriga. Even pala nung panahon na yun ay maintriga na, mga kapatid. Unsong-unso na yung intriga sa, sa workplace. So makikita natin, no? ito ay isang problema, yung tinatawag na intriga. So, intriga dahil maganda yung iyong performance, maganda yung iyong ginagawa. So, hinahanapan ka ng tao ng butas <coughs> kung kailan ka maaring magkamali. Sabi sa verse 5 up to verse 9, So they concluded, dahil wala silang makitang butas kay Daniel, dahil sa kanyang katapatan, dahil sa kanyang pagiging responsible sa kanyang trabaho, at dahil sa kanyang pagiging trustworthy. In other words, uh, because of his integrity, wala silang makita. So sabi sa verse 5, so they concluded that only chance of finding grounds of accusing Daniel will be in connection with the rules of his religion. So the administrators and the high officers went to the king and said, Long live the king! Long live King Darius! We are all in agreement. We, administrators, officials, high officers, advisors, and governors, that the king should make a law that will be strictly enforced. Give orders that for the next 30 days, any person who prays to anyone divine or human except to you your majesty will be thrown into the den of lions so dito makita natin nagkaroon ng conspiracy nagkaisa yung mga administrators officers high officials advisors and governors na gumawa ng batas na kung saan <clears throat> for the next 30 days in one month lahat ng kanyang subject ay kinakailangan na sa kanya lamang yuyuko o sa kanya lamang sasamba. Subalit uh, makikita natin mahigpit yung naging uh, banta rito na kung saan kung sino man ang hindi sa kanya lamang kay King Darius lamang uh, magpapatira pa at sasamba they will be thrown into the den of Lions. So medyo mabigat po yung parusa. So capital punishment ka agad kapag hindi ka nag-bow down kay King Darius. So ito ng mga hari, medyo hindi niya ganong napag-isipan. Pero sabi rito, and now your, your majesty issue and sign this law so it cannot be changed. An official law of the Medes and the Persians that cannot be revoked. So Daniel, oh, so King Darius sign the law. So, si King Darius naman ay bigla na lang uh, sinangayunan at pinirmahan itong batas na ito. So, makikita natin yung danger no? sa buhay kagad ni Daniel na kung saan uh, may batas na idiniklara yung hari na kailangan sa kanya lamang magbabaw down ang Sino man, for 30 days. So parang nagkaroon ng batas para lang kay Daniel. No? Para hanapan lamang siya ng butas. So balit makikita natin dito mga kapatid, yung ikalawang katangian ni Daniel. So he maintained his intimacy amidst of intimidation. So dito makikita natin kung gano'n ka-faithful, 
ka-responsible and trustworthy si Daniel. So ipinakita niya pa rin yung kanyang intimacy. Unang-unang intimacy with God. Yung kanyang naging commitment, yung kanyang patuloy na practices na kung saan sa Diyos lamang siya yuyukod, sa Diyos lamang siya magpapatira pa, sa Diyos lamang siya uh, magsasubmit. Sabi sa verse 10, look at your Bible, sabi rito, <clears throat> But when Daniel learned that the law has been had been signed, ano ang kanyang ginawa? He went home and knelt down as usual in his upstairs room <clears throat> with his windows open toward Jerusalem. So makikita mo pa rin yung kanyang loyalty, yung kanyang intimacy sa Diyos na mas mahalaga pa rin kay Daniel yung pagsamba sa Diyos, yung kanyang commitment sa Diyos, yung kanyang devotion sa Diyos, na hindi siya natatakot kahit na merong intimidation, may banta sa kanyang buhay na ang kaparusahan ay kamatayan. So sabi rito, he prayed three times a day, just as he had always done. So dahil yun po ay naging kostumbre na niya, naging kaugalian na niya, ipinagpatuloy pa rin niya kahit may banta. Dahil mas mahalaga sa kanya yung kanyang devotion, yung kanyang intimacy with God, rather than the intimidations of those people who harass him because of his faith in the Lord. Sabi rito, he prayed three times a day. Just as he had always done, giving, giving thanks to his God. Hallelujah. Dalangin ko sa Panginoon eh, mag-raise up pa ang Panginoon ng mga taong katulad ni Daniel na kahit na mayroong banta sa kanilang pananampalataya, they will stand up for their faith, they will express their devotion, their dedication, they will going to continue with their intimacy in spite of the intimidations of the people around him. So, sana yung marami pang mga Daniel na i-raise up ang Panginoon sa ating kapanahonan. So, yung kanyang integrity, yung kanyang intimacy, at makikita po natin yung kanyang devotion sa intercession. Gaya ng sinasab- sinasabi rito, no? He prayed three times a day, just as he had always done, giving thanks to his God. He went home and knelt down as usual in his upstairs room. So, lagi siyang naroon sa kanyang kwarto, binubuksan niya yung bintana at nakaharap siya lagi sa Jerusalem. Three times a day, siya ay patuloy na nananalangin sa Diyos. Nagpapasalamat sa ating Panginoon. So, he, ito yung ikatlong katotohan na nakita ko kay Daniel. Aside from yung kanyang integrity, yung kanyang intimacy, ipinagpatuloy niya yung kanyang intercession. He maintained his intercession amidst of impediment. Merong impediment, merong hadlang, merong banta. Ang kaparusahan ay kamatayan. May impediment. At yun nga po, kamatayan ang kahatulan kung magbabiolate ka ron. So balit makikita natin si Daniel, he maintained his integrity, his intimacy, and his intercession amidst of impediment. Verse 13 confirms this. Sabi rito, then he told the king. They told the king. So nag-report na itong mga high officials na ito na nag accuse kay Daniel. Sabi, niya, sabi nila, that man, Daniel, okay, one of the captives from Judah. <clears throat> so, may kinalaman pa rin yung kanyang race and religion. no? Is ignoring you and your law? Sabi nila, he still prays to his God three times a day. So, they reported 
yung naging uh, devotion ni Daniel pa rin, in spite of the intimidation and in spite of the impediment na patuloy siyang naging intercede he still prays to his God three times a day okay so the king has no choice okay dahil meron na siyang napirmahan na batas sabi sa verse 14 to 20 pasahin po natin yun hearing this the king was deeply troubled and he tried to think a way to save Daniel he spent the rest of the day looking for a way to get Daniel out of this predicament <coughs> so in the evening the men went together to the king and said your majesty you know that according to the law of the Medes and the Persian no law that the king signs can be changed so at last the king gave orders for Daniel to be arrested and thrown into the den of lions the king said to him may your God whom you serve faithfully rescue you you know what verse 17 a stone was brought and placed over the mount the mouth of the den the king sealed the stone with his royal seal so try to uh, yung mga details dito no na kung saan Nagbigay na ng order yung hari na ilagay na si Daniel dun sa lion's den. At uh, yun nga po, sabi rito, sinelyuhan pa niya yung stone with the royal seal. And the seals of his noble so that no one could rescue Daniel. So talagang sinigurado nila na si Daniel ay mapapahamak. So makikita natin yung danger sa kinakaharap ni Daniel. Then the king returned to his palace and spent the night fasting. Buti pa yung hari, nag-fasting para kay Daniel. He refused his usual entertainment and could not sleep at that, all that night. Very early in the morning, the king got up and hurried out to the lion's den. When he got there, he called out in anguish, Daniel, servant of the living God, was your God, whom you serve, so faithfully able to rescue you from the lions? So makikita natin mga kapatid. The, the, the king is hoping that uh, Daniel was able to survive from the mouth of the lions. Now the good news is, Verse 21 and 22. Daniel answered. Sabi niya, Long live the king. Okay. Verse 21. My God sent his angel to shut the lion's mouth so that they would not hurt me for I have been found innocent in his sight and I have not wronged you your majesty ano yung ikaapat na katotohanan dito mga kapatid una uh, unang katotohanan nakita ko dito sa verse 21 sabi niya I have been found innocent in his sight in God's sight and I have not wronged you he was referring to King Darius, Your Majesty. So, yung ikapat na katotohanan dito, mga kapatid, si Daniel, up to the last moment of his life, even in the face of danger, si Daniel, he maintained his innocence amidst of injustices. Sabi niya, I have been found innocent in his sight. I have not wronged you, your majesty. Mga kapatid, hanggang huli, 
hanggang sa dulo ng kanyang buhay kung siya man ay mapapahamak. Hindi niya ginibap yung kanyang faith. Naging tapat pa rin siya sa Diyos. He maintained his innocence. He maintained his intimacy with God. Yung kanyang intercession ipinagpatuloy niya habang siya ay naroroon sa sa lions den and he even yung kanyang integrity hindi niya ginibap yung kanyang integrity he holds on to his integrity he proves his innocence mga kapatid labis akong humahanga kay Daniel sa kanyang naging devotion no so he was He was found innocent. That's why God delivers Daniel in the dens of the lion. Okay. And last but not the least, he maintained his influence amidst of impossibility. So ulitin ko lang po yung aking mga katotohan ang nakita rito sa katangian ni Daniel. Number one, he maintained his integrity amidst of intrigues. Pangalawa, he maintained his intimacy amidst of intimidation. Pangatlo, he maintained his intercession amidst of impediment. And number four, he maintained his innocence amidst of injustices. Sabi ko nga po sa inyo, ikalima, He maintains His influence amidst of impossibility. Nagpatotoo pa rin po siya dun sa hari. Yung kanyang buhay, sinika pa rin niya na maging isang living testimony kung sino ang Diyos sa kanyang buhay. Pakinggan po natin yung kanyang statement at yung kanyang testimony, yung kanyang ginawang pag sa hari to convince the king that he is innocent and the king must recognize who God is. Sabi niya, my God. Okay. So ang ipinagmamalaki dito ni Daniel ay yung kanyang Diyos. No? Sabi niya, my God sent his angel to shut the lion's mouth. So the Lord or my God sent an angel okay. so hindi lang po ito ang unang pagkakataon na ang Diyos ay nagpadala ng kanyang mga anghel to rescue his people so again, pinatunayan ng Diyos na si Lord ang naging deliverer ni Daniel so my God, sabi niya, sent his angel to shut the lion's mouth and my God would not allow to hurt me. So he acknowledged that God did not allow him to suffer. So dito natin makikita, no? ang bida pa rin dito ay ang Diyos. Ang Diyos ang nag-ingat kay Daniel. Ang Diyos ang nagpatikom sa mga bibig ng mga leon. So yung mga leon, biglang umamo. Ano? So that they would not hurt me. So God stopped to hurt him sa pamamagitan ng mga lions. You know, kung kayo po ay naroon sa eksena yon, mga kapatid, maa-amaze po kayo sa ginawa ng Panginoon kay Daniel. So amidst of impossibility. Okay, makikita natin si Daniel ay nagpatuloy na nagbigay ng kanyang influence or influence to the king. Pinatunayan niya kung sino ang Diyos sa kanyang buhay, kung ano ang ginawa ng Diyos sa kanyang buhay. So he was able to testify to the king who God is and what he has done for Daniel. Verse 23 So the king was overjoyed 
ordered that Daniel be lifted up from the dead. Sabi rito, not a scratch was found on him, for he had trusted in his God. Nalagay na po ba kayo sa panganib, mga kapatid? Halimbawa, nagkasakit kayo. Habang kayo po ba ay nakaratay do sa banig ng karamdaman, handun kayo sa hospital bed, patuloy pa rin kayong nagtitiwala sa Diyos na ang Diyos ang patuloy na magliligtas sa inyo at wala nang iba? Yes. I have heard several testimonies. Meron tayong mga kapatiran na na-hospital. Dahil sa COVID, nalagay sa panganib ang kanilang buhay pero they just hold on to their faith. They keep on trusting the Lord for His deliverance sa kanilang mga buhay. At ngayon, sila'y nagpapatotoo sa Panginoon, sa kabutihan ng Diyos sa kanilang mga buhay. So makita natin, as a result, no? As a result, God honors Daniel's integrity. He honors Daniel's intimacy. He honors Daniel's intercession. He honors Daniel's innocence. And he honors Daniel's influence. And because of that, God delivered Daniel from the den of dangers. Okay. Yun ang naging resulta. Inonor ng Diyos. Yung kanyang integrity, intimacy, intercession, innocence, and influence. At dahil dito, God delivered Daniel from the dangers from the lion's mouth. Verse 19 to 21. Uh, verse 25. Then King Darius sent this message to the people. No, ito na yung naging response naman and resulta. Then King Darius sent this message to the people of every race and nation and la language throughout the world. Peace and prosperity to you. Okay? Verse 28. So Daniel prospered during the reign of Darius okay. and the reign of Cyrus the Persian. So, God honored God honored Daniel's integrity, intimacy, intercession, innocence, and influence. In fact, he prospered the king, prospered Daniel, meaning maintain nung king yung kanyang promotion. At hindi siya nawala sa pwesto hanggang sa panahon ni King Cyrus. So that's another story. Pero ang gusto kong bigyan ng diin dito mga kapatid, aside from God honors Daniel, no? hindi lang si Daniel ang pinarangalan ng Diyos, kundi ang Diyos mismo ay nabigyan ng karangalan sa pangyayaring ito. So God's name was honored by the people of the entire kingdom of the Persian Empire. At ito yung naging resulta, mga kapatid. God's name was honored by the people of the entire kingdom of the Medo-Persian Empire. Sabi sa verse 26 to 27. And this is amazing, mga kapatid. Can you imagine the entire kingdom recognize who God is? And what he has done. Sabi rito, I decree that everyone throughout my kingdom should tremble with fear before the God of Daniel. For he is the living God and he will endure forever. His kingdom will never be destroyed and his rule will never end. He rescues and save his people. He
He performs miraculous signs and wonders in the heavens and the earth. And He has rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. So makikita natin, mga kapatid. God is the deliverer of His people from the den of dangers. dangers. At ang Diyos po ay hindi nagbabago. Mula noon hanggang ngayon. He continuously deliver His people from bandages, from dangers. He rescue us from a lot of troubles, a lot of injustices. Ang Diyos ay patuloy na nagliligtas sa kanyang mga bayan, sa kanyang mga tao. It is comforting to know that God has promised to protect His people. Di po ba? Very comforting po yan sa atin, mga kapatid. Na ang Diyos ay patuloy na nag-iingat sa buhay ng bawat isa sa atin. Pinangako niya na He will going to protect His people. We are His people. We are His ecclesia. At patuloy siyang mag-iingat sa buhay ng bawat isa sa atin. We may not all be at the front lines of dangers for now, okay? But we all face the, an enemy who intends to, to kill, to steal, and destroy. Maring sa oras na ito, walang nagiging banta o panganib sa inyong buhay, pero alam naman natin yung ating kalaban. So, hindi lang yung mga wicked people, even si Satan, is continuously harassing God's people. Okay? However, we must always remember, our God is more powerful than the devil. He is more powerful than the lion's den, than the lion's mouth. And when we make God our refuge, we have security in Him. Hallelujah. I know. As we recognize who God is and what He has done and what He can do to our lives, we can be delivered from the den of dangers. Ang dalangin ko sa Panginoon, mga kapatid, patuloy na i-honor ng Diyos yung inyong integrity. Patuloy na i-honor din ng Diyos yung inyong intimacy. Patuloy ding i-honor ng Diyos yung inyong intercession na ginagawa. Patuloy na i-honor ni Lord yung inyong innocence. At patuloy na i-honor ni Lord yung inyong influence. Upang patuloy tayong ilayo ng Panginoon sa anumang mga panganib sa ating mga buhay. Magandang umaga po mga kapatid at nawa po ay patuloy kayong ingatan ng Panginoon. Ingatan tayo ng Panginoon mula sa anumang banta sa ating mga buhay. Manalangin po tayo. Dakilang Ama na nasa langit, salamat po. Dahil Ikaw ang Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat. Tunay po that You are the living God. That You endure forever. And Your kingdom will never be destroyed. And Your rule will never end. Lord, we thank You because You continue to rescue and save Your people. And you perform miracles and wonders in the heavens and on the earth. Lord, thank you for rescuing Daniel from the power of the lions. And we all, we do believe, Lord, hanggang ngayon, patuloy kang nagahari sa sanlibutan ito. Patuloy kang kumikilos, patuloy kang uh, gumagawa ng mga himala, at patuloy kang nagliligta sa iyong mga anak sa anumang mga panganib sa aming mga buhay. So dalangin ko po, Panginoon, ang iyong patuloy na pag-iingat, patuloy mong pagpuprotect sa buhay ng bawat isa sa amin, at patuloy naming maranasan yung deliverance na nanggagaling sa iyo from the den of dangers sa aming mga buhay. Panginoon, salamat po. Indeed, Lord, we worship you, we honor you, we bless you because of who you are and what you have done and continuously doing in our lives, in our families, in our country. Salamat po, Panginoon. Binabalik ko po ang lahat ng papuri, pasasalamat 
sa iyong mataas na pangalan. Diyos ng kataas-taasan. Sa pangalan ng inyong anak na si Jesus, lahat tayo magsabi ng Amen. So magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Ang aking pong dalangin ay patuloy kayong ingatan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. So, <coughs> nais ko pong uh, i-bless kayo sa umagang ito. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord show you His favor and give you peace. God bless you po. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Amen. He's coming on the clouds. Kings and kingdoms will bow down. And every chain will break. As broken hearts declare His praise Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Our God is a lion, the lion of Judah He's roaring with power, and fighting our battles And every knee will bow before you Our God is a lamb, the lamb that was slain chains and every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb oh every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb. Before the light.